Oh, here's another thing. So what happens if I have a dictionary table? So I'm going to go ahead and create a new table. And I'm going to call it states in varchar 50. Yep. And I might add a column, right? And that column might be sysid. And then I'm going to have identity here. Okay. And then we'll call this states. These are US states. I don't know. I'm sure you guys are getting super familiar with the United States um, in Manila if you're listening to this from Manila. So what I can do is I can edit and I can say, OK, well, I know I deal in California. I deal in Washington. I deal in New York. I deal in Michigan. I deal in Oregon. I deal in Arizona. I deal in Nevada, right? I deal in, um, in Utah and Texas, right? OK. So I have these states that I operate in, right? DC. All right. Now, this state data is lookup data. It doesn't change that much. These are the states I operate in. It, I'm, we're not going to get a 51st state anytime soon, right? This, this is relatively static data. So what I could do is, first off, I can check the state table into source control. So I go ahead and commit the changes. And I say, adding states. And I commit it. OK. And now I've got states here. The next thing I can do is I can right click and I can say, go ahead and set, link this as static data that doesn't change that often. And so I link it as static data and this window comes up that you can't see, I'll bring it over. And it says, okay, we're gonna add states as static data. Is that the one you want? Yes, it is. And I save and close. Now, when I look at source control changes, there's states. Yeah, it's, it's there. A stat oh, add a PK before source controlling table. Sorry, I thought I did have PK. Oh, no, I didn't make it the PK. Let's make that the PK. Come back, right click. Um, make state, there we go. Make state static, save and close. Come down here, it says, oh, you added a PK, plus you made a data link. I'll say, adding data from lookup, from state's lookup table. And then I'll commit. OK. What did that do? It took the data out of the state's table, and it added it to source control. And look at if I click data, now I have a data states data SQL script, and if I double click it, it's just a bunch of inserts for every record that might be in the states table. So what does that let me do? If I come here and I go to states and I edit and I add, you know, um, I add Mississippi or Florida or um, New Mexico, um, right, so I add three, close it. When I right click and commit, it says, hey, look, it highlights it down here. I noticed you added three states to your static data. So I'll say, adding some new states, right? And I commit. And now it commits those things. When I go back here and I look at the script, you can see that here's NMFL and Mississippi as inserts in my state. So it's a way, you don't want to do this for all your data, but doing this for like, you know, lookup tables is a really good thing. It lets you save lookup ta data um, and share it with other members of your team. Okay, uh, what else? Um, we can undo changes, we can add migration scripts, we can, we can do object locking. So if I want to edit a stored procedure in a shared database environment and I want to make sure nobody else can edit it at the time, I can set up object locking and then I can lock that stored procedure and nobody else will be able to touch it while I've got it locked. So that's going back to generation zero of source control, which is not my favorite, but sometimes, particularly at the beginning, it might be essential and you can, you can do locking, and uh, that'll work too. Okay, so right now it's 
and we've done source control. And if we go back to kind of our agenda here, um, we did we did um, source control, compare, data compare, SQL prompt, SQL search, SQL data generator, SQL doc. The only thing we have left is SQL test. And uh, this is our ability to write tests for stored procedures and never leave transact SQL. So again, we've been at this for another like 50 